Burger King introduces the Battle of the Breakfast. A look at the arsenal. Fluffy pancakes drenched in hot blueberries, hot syrup, and hot apple toppings. Scrambled eggs. Omelets with cheese or Creole sauce. The Chris Sandwich with sausage, ham, or bacon. Pineapple chunks, grapefruit, oranges. It's a delicious new way to feed the troops. The all-new breakfast spread from Burger King. If an egg McMuffin sounds good to you, listen to the sound of our two new McMuffin sandwiches. Both on toasted English muffins with melted cheese, but with a whole new sizzle to fill up the middle. It's McDonald's Sausage McMuffin and Sausage McMuffin with Egg. If you think they sound good, they've got sizzle in the middle. Wait till you taste them. McDonald's and you. On Saturdays. Hey, what's going on? What's happening? It's the adventures of those lovable crime stoppers, Shirt Tales. What's up, everybody? This is Mo Media, and welcome to the Saturday Morning Experience, where I take you into a day of life of young me. <laughs> Today we'll be focusing on the year 1984. As a kid, 1984 was one of my favorite years, for real. Now I was a kid, so I don't know what was going on for grown-ups, but <laughs> in music, Madonna was hot. Michael Jackson, he was still hot from his Thriller album. Prince took the crown this year. He blew up. Just all the music veneers were just popping. We had like crazy variety. Arcades were still very, very popular. We had arcades spread it out throughout the city. The theaters, we had uh, Ghostbusters, Gremlins, Temple of Doom, Breaking, because of the popularity of the breakdancing, Purple Rain, Friday 13th, the final chapter. Yeah, we had a whole lot of, lot of good movies dropping cable television, it, it just started to uh, spread around. Uh, VHS, VCRs, comics are still hot. The popular toys for girls, I think they, they were still riding the wave of Cabbage Patch, but the mass hysteria died down a little bit. But uh, Rainbow Bright, Get Along Gang, uh, Care Bears came out. For the boys, this was the beginning of the robot phase. We had Transformers coming up, GoBots, uh, Robotech, Transor Z, Voltron, and then G.I. Joe was still hot at his prime, and He-Man was at his prime. Yeah, 84 was the whoo, was on fire. All right, so we back on the block, 14th and Keith, 53206. <laughs> All right, 1984 summer, blue sky, sunny. We would go to day camp. Mom would pack us some, some lunches. Uh, used to be a ham sandwich. <laughs> Bag of Doritos, the fresh Doritos. Remember how the Doritos used to taste? Used to have that real corn taste, the cheese, uh, fruit punch high C or great. <laughs> and then she'd give us a little Debbie, the little Debbie cupcake or whatever. We get dropped off by my auntie house because she stayed over by the uh, neighborhood house, which is the camp we went to. We got back from day camp, played outside for a bit. Every other Friday, mom's to go grocery shopping. So we go to the grocery store. This time, this is 1984, so I'm gonna I'm gonna cop me some C3POs. These tasted just like crackles, I think they call it. The tin can, strawberry quick. Definitely got to get that. 10 can of Hawaiian Punch. Y'all ever tried that 10 can Hawaiian Punch? Woo! One's in a 10 can that used to, uh, I ain't gonna even, even say no more. And I'm definitely getting me a He-Man activity book. That was like a must every time I went to the store. Uh, we got home that night. I remember New York Hot Tracks used to come on about 10-ish. So I used to try to definitely stay up to watch those new videos. I usually would doze off. I wake up in the morning and hit, here's the lineups. Now, 1984, they had lineups that lasted till like 1.30 in the afternoon. So this is gonna be tough for me to choose between these, these tunes that I would watch as a kid, but, so I don't want anyone being upset with me. 
uh, but this is what I would have watched. Grab your cereal bowl, grab your cereal, and let's watch these tunes. We're gonna start off with the shirt tails. I like them my shirt tails. You don't know what the shirt tails are. They are your small little anamorphic animals that stay in this tree in this park. They're undercover detectives, I guess you can say, and they work for the commissioner. You know, their shirts express their emotions, so that's why they call it the shirt tails. Let's check out these shirt tails. Hi, shirt tails. This is Bogey. Here are some of today's exciting adventures. We see Mr. Dinko in the process of watering the park's lawn. He asks Digger for assistance. And turn it on when you hear me yell, okay. How are you this morning? Uh, I'm okay. I said okay. Okay, Mr. Dinko. Turn it off, turn it off. Gee. Mr. Dinko gets soaked and wet and is very upset with Digger. You didn't do it on purpose, Digger. Yeah, you were just trying to help. Digger feels ashamed and decides to run away. In the city, he is confronted from a hungry alley cat. Digger escapes his clutches and goes underground to get back home. The shirt tails read a letter that Digger left them and realize he's gone. So they go out and search for him. Got a surprise catch! <laughs> Meanwhile, Digger is back home but realizes the shirt tails are gone looking for him. He see that they are in trouble, so he goes back to save his friends. Hi, fellas! Remember me? Digger! Digger! <laughs> What's going on around here? It was just a little misunderstanding, Mr. Dinkle. But everything is okay now. Right! You can say that again. Gee, it's great to have friends. The Shirt Tales will return after these messages. Are you hungry? Hungry as a gremlin? Here's gremlin cereal. Gremlins, gremlins, bite after bite. What a tasty way to satisfy a gremlin appetite. Gremlins is a deliciously sweet, crunchy cereal that satisfies the hungry little gremlin. That's in all of us. Gremlins, gremlins, bite after bite. What a tasty way to satisfy a gremlin appetite. Gremlin cereal is part of this complete breakfast. Gremlin, yum yum. Halt or face the evil hook of Trap Jaw. Trap Jaw, Battle Cat, and He Man each sold separately, string not included. That hook won't stop He Man. In Trap Jaw, we use his vicious claw. Still no contest. In Trap Jaw, we use his wicked laser. Even a one armed army can't stop He Man and Battle Cat. You win this time, He Man. Trap Jaw figure from the Masters of the Universe collection. He Man and Battle Cat figures each sold separately. From Mattel. 
Great Adventures just built a new country for kids, a place unlike any other nation, because Great Adventures' new shirt tails land is as big as your imagination. A place where you can be a pirate and climb to the sky, or spread your wings and fly. A great new place where you can be just about anything you've ever dreamt you'd be. Great Adventures' new shirt tails land, it's a world of fantasy. You can celebrate the grand opening during Kids Fest with a kids circus, mimes, string bands, and more from June 16 to June 24. We see a man known as the Mastermind take the Commissioner as a hostage. Now to get even with the Shirt Tails! He informs the Shirt Tails to meet him at a certain location if they want the Commissioner back. Put you in jail once, we can do it again! You won't get away with this! The Shirt Tails will come to rescue me! The shirt tails fall into one of Mastermind's traps. Boy, we sure fell for that one. You found me up for the last time. Those traps are for the shirt tails, not for pesty little animals. Take care of them, Crutcher. <laughs> they escape the dog and finds Mastermind's computer room. They locate the commissioner and also rig the robot that helped them against the mastermind. What's going on? Ah, my robot gun! I am now an honorary shirt tail. What? You little fur balls would sleep your lives away. Up, 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 up. <laughs> Now we're going with the Super Friends legendary superpowers. Uh, this is just another updated Super Friends, except they added uh, Firestorm, a more diverse group of superheroes, you know what I'm saying? So let's check out the Super Friends, the legendary superpowers. Wonder Woman here. Don't miss the legendary Super Friends in exciting, action-packed adventures as we continue the never-ending battle of good versus evil. Turn after these messages. The Dukes of Hazard, weekdays at four. Coming from the farthest reaches of the universe to challenge the worst villains on earth are the most powerful heroes ever in the Battle of the Superpowers Collection. What's this? The dam's about to blow and take Robin with it? Who'll stop the Joker and Luther? Aquaman! Kenner's new Superpowers Collection figures with power action, each sold separately with its own mini comic. Aquaman, stay home. Who can help now? A power ring, a power action punch. Defuse the bomb! Can this madness be stopped in time? You decide. 
secret, the secret decoding shield of the dreaded Dr. Doom has ordered him to blow up the Freedom Tower. Dr. Octopus, Dr. Doom, Captain America, and Spider-Man each sold separately. Here's how it works, Dr. Octopus. Just slip the secret message in the secret shield. Now our secret mission is revealed. How do we stop him, Captain America? That's our secret, Spider-Man. Dr. Doom, Captain America, and other action figures from the Marvel Secret Wars collection, each sold separately. New from Mattel. We now return to the Super Friends. Darkseid is lured into a trap set by Brainiac. They confront Brainiac only to become his ally because both of them want the Super Friends dead. Brainiac created android replicas of the Super Friends but needs Darkseid's lasers to make them operational. Darkseid agree and the androids go to capture the Super Friends. Darkseid offers Wonder Woman a proposition. If she marries him, he will set them free. Brainiac disagrees and they both engage in battle. The Super Friends escape and capture Brainiac. No! Darkseid takes Wonder Woman and escapes, but is it the real Wonder Woman? You fool! You took the android! Take me back to Brainiac! I shall have you, Wonder Woman! We'll return after these messages. Chocolatey, great tasting hot cocoa. So chocolatey, so delicious. It's Superman hot cocoa. What they taste, it's the one. Superman hot cocoa. reaches of the universe to challenge the worst villains on earth are the most powerful heroes ever in the battle of the superpowers collection can it be the supermobile on the attack the lexor 7 armed with kryptonite will the supermobile repel those deadly rays you bet ready for battle activate ram new from kenner's superpowers collection flying lessons for penguin fish bait for luther can the supermobile defeat the lexor 7 you decide vehicles and figures with power action each sold separately Hey everybody, it's Maul Media, your boy, <laughs> uh, I got them cartoon lineups, whatever you want, y'all just gotta hit my email, Maul Media, okay, I'll be right with you, Maul Media 83 at gmail, hit me. Samurai and Superman gets an alert. They go and investigate. We see the Mirror Master, a generic villain, set up Superman and traps him in the sixth dimension. <laughs> but have no fear, Superman. You won't be lonely for long. <laughs> If I can communicate with the Mirror Master through one mirror, perhaps I can contact the Super Friends through another mirror. Hey, it's Lois Lane. Lois, I need your help. That's strange. I could have sworn I just heard Superman. I guess that's what love does to you. So much for her. Superman finds a way to communicate to the Super Friends to tell them about the Mirror Master. The Mirror Master goes after Batman and Robin, and then Firestorm. Samurai's left. He turns invisible to avoid getting trapped in the mirror. The Super Friends are released from the sixth dimension and apprehends the Mirror Master. Threat! How could I have failed when I was so close to victory? You'll have plenty of time to reflect on that behind bars. Thank you. 
what y'all think about the super friend. <laughs> yeah, it's cool. It's cool. Yeah, very entertaining. Uh, next up, we got the Mighty Orbots. Uh, about these transforming robots. Fire robot transform the one. A lot of storylines, a lot of villains, a lot of the music score in it. Only thing I didn't like is that he didn't have a sword. Mighty Orbots. This is Rob Simmons, leader of the Mighty Orbots. Join me, Ono, and the rest of the Orbots in some hot action as we battle the evil computer Umbra in another exciting adventure. Turn after these messages. You can imagine in the future, giant robot controlled warriors will protect the planet Earth. Starriors! The Starriors armored battle station. You push together. Grab a waste to attacking! Arm the battle station! Attack! To join! The Starriers Armored Battle Station comes with everything you see here. Rammer and Waste Reads sold separately. No, from Tony. Mmm, Eggo Waffles. What a good idea. You know, Dad? What? You're the most generous person I know. Oh. The most unselfish, the most kind, the most considerate. Mmm, I can almost taste it. And above all, the most mm -hmm. understanding. Lego my ego. Dad, you shattered my image of you. People change. Part of this nutritious breakfast. Eggo waffles from Kellogg's. Half. We now return to Mighty Orbots. So I take it you Orbots want to go to the circus when it arrives? More than that. Not a bad idea. Crunch could be a magician. Huh? You're always making things disappear. to see you and all your friends from the Galactic Patrol at tonight's show. I have a special assignment for you, Orbots. Does this mean we don't get to see the circus? Not only are you going to see the circus, you're going to be in it. Yeah. Yes, it's super yeah. Yeah. I have a feeling that there's more to this circus than meets the eye. Of course, I'm glad to be going to the circus with you, Rob. I just asked if the Orbots commander ever takes time off for things like this. Right this way, folks, to see the wonders of the galaxy. See the giant Elephasaurus. See the flying Robotis. Ah! It sounds like the Ringmaster's planning a special show for our four Galactic Patrol officers. Hey, there's something funny about my reflection. Hey, what's going on? What the... <laughs> Oh, 
I got butterflies in my stomach. The plan is working like a charm, Lord Umbra. Just like I guarantee. Four of the five officers who can override the computer have been duplicated. Excellent. The Hall of Mirrors is working perfectly. Soon we will be able to start phase two. <laughs> the Hall of Mirrors? Rondo was right. There is something wrong with this circus. Oops! Wait till the Galactic Patrol hears about this. Better hurry, Boo, because the Ringmaster's going to hear about it first. Flying Robotties. Crunch, you weigh a ton. Uh-uh. Two tons. This is fun, but I must be getting back to work. Are you coming, Rob? Uh, no thanks, dear. I'd like to catch the rest of the show. I think I'm going to enjoy the Flying Robotties. Be careful, Robots. If the Ringmaster's working for Umbra, anything can happen. Let's make things a bit more exciting for our audience. And for the spying robotties. Look out! Oh, 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 oh no! Leaving the show so soon? Unfortunately, yes. I have work to do. But you must see our Hall of Mirrors before you go. We'll return after these messages. I want E-Man! You could win one of 100 complete Masters of the Universe toy sets like this. One in 75,000 will win in the Nestle Quick Masters of the Universe Instant Winner Game. There are over a quarter of a million prizes. You can look for this Instant Winner Game card with specially marked packages of Nestle Quick. It's at your grocer's display, or you can get a free game card by writing to Nestle Quick, Masters of the Universe card, P.O. Box 3636, Syosset, New York, 11775. Hey, heroes, how about some quick? Yeah! yeah! They appear to be mighty robots, but you change them into mighty vehicles. GoBots and Super GoBots, each sold separately. GoBots, 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 GoBots. Robots and Super Robots. Destroyer, Sight Kill, and Leader One. Each sold separately from Tom. The Transformers, more than meets the eye. Autobots wage their battles in destroying the evil forces of the Decepticons. The Transformers, more than meets the eye. The Transformers, robots in disguise. Attack the Autobot Commander! Call in the Decepticon Leader! Transformers, more than meets the eye. The Transformers, from Hasbro. We now continue with Mighty Orbots. Looks like Dia's gone through the looking glass and she isn't at all happy about it. While back in the big top, the Orbots are taking the fall. Hey, this can't be part of the act. <laughs> Whoa! We can't fly! Quick, Mort, do something! Like what? Anything! Good work, Mort. That's bum 
bouncing back from a fall. I think the ringmaster could shed a little light on all this. Boy, that was a close one. Too close. We'd better find Rob and tell him this is a shadow circus. I'm gonna call him. No need for that, Tor. Boy, are we glad to see you. Rob, this circus is run by Shadow. I think you're right. Orbot's mode, everyone. We've got to be ready for anything from here on. The evil duplicates of Dia and the other officers are deactivating the planet's defense systems. All systems operational. Request input data. Manual override sequence. Stand by for aura scan. Hey, I'm an animal lover, but this is ridiculous. I hate to say this, but I think it's feeding time. It looks bad for the Orbots. But if you think they've got problems now, just wait. Aura's verified. Manual override authorization confirmed. It is time for phase two. Take over. Umbra is taking over the Galactic Patrol's computer system. And what are the Orbots doing during all this? This thing's giving me a headache. With all five heads. Sorry, I left my bananas in my other suit. And even worse, Bo, it's heading straight for the Hall of Mirrors. What exactly are we looking for, Rob? I'm not sure, yet. When you find out, you won't like it. The computer security officers and Dia, they're trapped in the mirrors. Unite! Flying Elevasaurus. This lightens things up. Let's do it! Ringmaster. Mighty Orbots. Mighty Orbots is here, and you're in trouble. No, you're in trouble. Umbra has taken control of the Galactic Patrol's defense computer. <laughs> so that's his plan. But will 
mighty Orbots be in time to prevent Umbra's plan from succeeding? It is working. Our circuits are merging. My sensors tell me Mighty Warbots is approaching. Good. Let him be the first to feel my new power. your victories before they're won, Umbra. Mighty Orbots. <laughs> Looks like Umbra's plans have gone up in smoke. Mighty Orbots wins again. Thanks for another job well done, Rob. But most of all, thanks for saving Dia. Well, once we figured out how those mirrors worked, it was no problem to reverse the process. Uh -oh. That's a bad reflection on you, Tor. Try to think about the mighty Orbots. <laughs> rah, rah, rah. Uh, next up, we got the Muppet Babies. Just the baby versions of the Muppet characters. And I guess they live in this house with this woman called Nanny. You never get to see her face. No, so, yeah. So here's the Muppet Babies. Right in here? Yes, Nanny. The kids juice drink from Tropicana. When we're working up a sweat, we want something wet. We pop into a choppy. Pop, pop, pop a choppy. We just pop a choppy, pop a choppy, pop a choppy, pop. When we're bopping to the beat, thirsty from the heat, at the time we pop a choppy. Pop, pop, pop a choppy. We just pop the orange, pop a grape, pop a fruit punch. We pop a choppy, pop. So when your toes are hopping and your tongue is dropping, you can stop and pop a choppy. Pop, pop, pop a choppy. Oh, go, wow. 
did he say, Kermit? I think he said we're approaching an alien planet. Ugo Bam Kapunka. Me, 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 me. Alien planet below. Prepare to land. We've landed. Open the hatch and let's start exploring. Be careful. There's no telling what sort of weird creatures we might meet. Here. Looks like a nice planet to me. I'll bet their computers are real primitive. Ah, you! Zorro Flats! That's alien for bless you. Thanks. Hmm, what a weird looking alien creature. I wonder if I could ride him. There, that's not so bad, is it? <laughs> well, frogs never did make good cowboys, even on Earth. Take me to your audience! Hey, this is nice! Okay, here comes a space joke. What kind of music does the man in the moon listen to? Give up? <laughs> moon rock! Waka, waka, waka! Boy, I'm sure glad TV sets aren't like that on Earth. Aren't you? Oh, look! That's not right, is it? Chickada, oh, Dinny. That's Martian for I'd better check out the closet. No! Hope I'm tickle snark no no. That's Martian for Help! Quick, there's no time to waste. Move it, move it. What's the matter with you, Gonzo? There's an alien monster in the closet. We've got to get out of here before it gets us. What's all the shouting about? It's even bigger than I thought! Yay! Space Invader! Hi! Look at you! Quick! Hide! I've got it! I've got the alien! Gonzo, what are you doing? Hey! That's not an alien, Gonzo! It's Nanny! It is? She tastes like an alien to me! What? Sorry, Nanny. What on earth have you done to yourselves? We're not on Earth, Nanny. We're space creatures. Yeah, we're playing UFO, Nanny. Oh, I see. If you... Zorgo Frats. What did you say, kids? Uh, nothing, Nanny. Well, don't go too far into space. you got to be back on Earth in an hour to go to bed, okay? Okay, okay Nanny. Are you sure she's not an alien? Oh, Gonzo! She sure. Hey, what's that noise? It's coming from outside. Quick, turn out the lights. What is it? Maybe it's a shooting star. Maybe it's a rocket test. Maybe it's a flying street sweeper looking for litter in the trees. What? Never mind. It must be a UFO. Hush, if Gonzo's right, it could be full of little green men from Mars. What's so bad about that? You're little and green and adorable. Sheesh. Hey, it flew away. Let's go tell Nanny we saw a UFO. Uh, she'd never believe us. It probably wasn't a UFO anyway. Oh. Uh, did you guys hear something? Hey, hey! Look out! Hello. Get away! Mama! That's not your mama animal. It's an invader from another world. Come in. Animal! No! Don't let it in! It's coming after us! Yeah. Run! Want to play? What's he doing, Skeeter? He's trying to eat your truck. He is? Maybe he'll eat one of us next! <gasps> Camilla! Let go, my baby chicken, you space invader! Kidding? You can have Camilla. 
I don't need her. Uh, that's not enough? You, you want all my toys? Oh, boy. Look, it's gonna get Gonzo. Oh! Are you sure, Gonzo? Sure, I'm sure. He probably could have zapped my nose off, but he didn't. Gonzo's right. Come on. Uh, hello there. We're friends. <laughs> Yikes! Oh, Kermit, you're so brave. Protecting me from that monster by throwing yourself between us. It's not a monster. I think it was saying hello. Me, Scooter. Who are you? Erm. Um, his name is Erm. He didn't say Erm. He said Germ. Germ? Oh, no. He's a space germ. Cover your mouth. It wasn't a germ or Erm. It's Irma. It's a girl. I'm Skeeter from Earth. Pleased to meet you. See? And I'm still Scooter. I'm Piggy, and this is Kermit, Fuzzy, Wolf. And I'm Gonzo. Animal. <laughs> this is Earth. What planet are you from? <laughs> You're from the planet Sneeze? I told you she was a germ. There's no planet called Sneeze, Gonzo. Here, let's show her a picture of the solar system. Maybe she can point out where she's from. Recognize any of these planets, Irma? Look, she's pointing to Neptune. She comes from a planet called Naptime? Not Naptime, Neptune! Oh, I knew that. Gosh, what if Irma got left here by mistake and now she doesn't know how to get back home? Well, if you ask me, it's up to us help her get back home. All we have to do is wish upon a star. Starlight, star bright, the first star I see tonight. I wish I may, I wish I might. Have my sweet little piggy give me a kiss goodnight. Gonzo, you spoiled my wish. Gonzo, you spoiled my wish. Yeah. Oh, she tied my nose. I wonder if that means we're going steady. That's never gonna get Irma home. Well, gee, um, maybe we can phone her planet and they'll come pick her up. <laughs> come on, give me some room, you guys. Operator. Yes, I'd like to make a long-distance call to the planet Neptune. Please deposit two million dollars for the first three minutes. Uh, I've got a nickel. I've got a button. Oh. Don't worry, guys. We got the money in our savings account at the First National Piggy Bank. Well, what are you waiting for, Gonzo? Break it open. Forgive me, my sweet. Now that's what I call a kiss. Hurry, you guys. Get those coins into the phone. Hello? Hello? Is this the Irma residence? No, this is the Yoda residence. You got the wrong number, pal. So much for phoning home. I know. All we have to do is make a giant slingshot, and we can snap her back home to Neptune. Yeah, Are you kidding? I was just wondering. Watch this. Is Henry a little? I don't know. If you look at this. Uh, Here goes. Yeah. The intro. You know that they're here. So, this is not. He might be a little. <laughs> Long distance calls. That's Something not scientific. Wrong. What we need is a computer-designed spaceship. 
But we don't have the stuff to build a spaceship, Scooter. So we'll just tell the computer what stuff we do have. Good idea. This vacuum will make a great rocket engine. One vacuum. And this will make a perfect cockpit. One baby carrot. And we can use my face for a nose cone. And one weirdo. You're doing great, guys. It's coming out just like the computer plans. Get some wire. And some blue. As we know. What to do. Gonna build a rocket to the sky. Wings and toys. It's gonna fly real far. Pack up my flashlight, some tape and headphones, too. flavored tricks. Dropping in for some? I'm here to help kids of America eat tricks as part of this good nutritious breakfast. Tricks taste real fruity. Tricks has fruit taste I like. There's lemon, there's orange in every bite. Whee! The rabbit. Ooh. Silly rabbit tricks are for kids. Even super rabbits get hung up on tricks. Angel face Barbie. She's so pretty. Let's get her ready for the party. Let's comb her hair. She's beautiful. Angel Face Barbie comes with play makeup, so you can make her pretty face even prettier. A little blusher? She looks like an angel. You're my angel. Angel Face Barbie. Angel Face Barbie doll. Comes with hair accessories and makeup case. From Mattel. Chewy Nabisco Apple Bars with chunks of real apple. Mmm, apple could be delicious. Nabisco Apple Bars. There. Fruit Chewy. Nabisco. Do this on Earth. 
Hey guys, we're coming up on Saturn. We gotta change course quick. Why, Gonzo? To listen to Saturn's rings. We don't have time for this kind of nonsense, Gonzo. We don't? No, we've got more important nonsense to do. Oh. out there must be Irma's home. Buckle up, guys. We're going in for a landing. Wow! What a neat-looking planet. It's just like I imagined it. Come on, let's go look around. Computer! I bet it can do anything! Anything? <laughs> I can do a lot more than that! Wow! It talks! Can you tell time? On 8,000 different planets. On your planet, it's close to bedtime. Sorry I asked. Hey, Irma. What's this? A remote-controlled matter transporter? You mean, if I step inside, it can send me anywhere I want to go? Oh, boy! I think I got a wrong number. Wow! A giant bowl of cereal! Uh-oh. Where there's giant bowls of cereal, there's giants! <laughs> that thing's dangerous! You shouldn't let kids play with it! Isn't this planet wonderful, Kermit? I don't know, Piggy. Everything so technical and scientific kind of makes me wish I was back in a pond sitting on a log. Oh, Kermit! Place isn't so bad after all. Thanks, Irma. <laughs> Gee, P, this is what I imagine Irma's whole planet is really like. You do? Gosh, you really think Irma comes from a swamp, Kermit? Sure. If it's good enough for frogs, it's good enough for aliens. <laughs> I think she wants us to follow her. count to ten. <laughs> They'll never find me in here. <laughs> Lesson number one. Never play hide and seek with kids who have built-in radar. Come on. We got to get back before now. He's right. Let's go. So long, Irma. Thanks for letting us visit. We'll miss you. So long. Come see us anytime. Bye-bye. Goodbye, Irma. Oh, 
We're back home. And I'm a safe on her own planet. Um, something tells me we didn't pretend hard enough, you guys. Look. Irma still here? <laughs> this is awful. We'll never get her home now. What was that? Sounded like a truck. Gosh, I wonder who that is. Oh, no. He's got a cage. Yeah. Run. It's an alien catcher coming to get Irma. He's going to take her to a laboratory and do experiments on her just like they do in the movies. We've got to hide her. How about in my drawer? Well, that's what you get for not folding your clothes, Piggy. Don't get personal, Frog. Oh, right. We can hide her in the closet. <laughs> this is getting ridiculous, isn't it? Forget the closet! Quick! Hide her! Quick! Let's give her a better disguise! Good idea! Kids? There's somebody here who'd like to speak with you. There is? This is Mr. Johansson. He's been tracking a little creature all over the neighborhood, and he followed its footprints to your window. He did? We never saw any alien on us. Oh, Gonzo, shh. Don't worry. I don't want to hurt the little fella. I just want to take him back to the zoo. The zoo? We got to get Irma out of here. Run, Irma, run. Get out while you can. Don't let them put you in the zoo! Run! Quick! Run! Run! no! Stop! It's a trap! Now, now. There's nothing to worry about. I won't hurt him. But we saw a movie, and they showed how you treat aliens from outer space. Yeah, we like Irma. She's our friend. Yeah, I even gave her my baby chicken. We won't let you hurt her. <laughs> First of all, she's not a she. It's a he, and his name is Charlie. Charlie? And Charlie's not an alien. He's a koala bear. He doesn't look like any bear I ever saw. Maybe bears look different on Neptune, Fozzie. And he's not from Neptune. He's from Australia. Australia? Gee, that's even closer to Mars, isn't it? <laughs> no, Gonzo. Australia is a country on the other side of the Earth. You mean he's from Earth like us? That's right, Scooter. Gee, Irma. I mean, Charlie. I, I guess we'll never see you again, huh? Yeah, we'll miss you. Yeah. <laughs> Gee, thanks, Charlie. Here, you can have my dearie bobbers. There's nothing to be so sad about. Charlie's staying at the zoo for the next six months. You can come visit him anytime you want. We can? Sure. Here's some free passes for taking such good care of him. Wow, thanks! Bye-bye! Bye-bye! See you later! Bye. See you at the zoo! Bye-bye! Gee, I guess Irma wasn't an alien after all. Personally, I knew he wasn't an alien all along. Any scientific person knows there's no such thing as... Mr. Johansson is driving. Hey, do you think they have a nice zoo on Neptune? And now, these messages. I love Smurf Berry Crunch cereal so much, I smurfed a machine to double production. Smurf Berry Crunch is fun to eat. A Smurfy, fruity breakfast treat. Made by Smurf so happily, it tastes like crunchy Smurf Berries. Berry shake and crispy, chewy, very, very smurfy. Oh! What's Smurfing on? Candy made us work faster. I hate faster. Ooh, what'll we do with all this delicious Smurf Berry Crunch? Eat it, of course. <laughs> Smurf Berry Crunch, a very Smurfy part of this nutritious breakfast. Dream date Barbie. Dream date Barbie. Dream date Kendall sold separately. Mac, Mac, camp here. Wait, Barbie's changing her ruffle again. Dream Date Barbie has a ruffled party dress she can wear ten different ways. This way's perfect for tonight. Oh, can your dream date's ready? Dream Date Barbie. Dream 
Dream Date Barbie doll in a dress with a change-around ruffle. Dream Date Ken doll sold separately from Mattel. Alvin and the Chipmunks will return after these messages. We'll be back again tomorrow morning at 6. Oh, bye-bye! <laughs> Stay tuned for Dungeons and Dragons. How do we get home? It's a bizarre and mystical realm. This whole place is a bad dream. Ask the Muppet Babies. I like the Muppet Babies up there. <laughs> <laughs> Next up, Dungeons and Dragons. This is in my top 10 cartoons, great storyline about these kids. They go on an amusement park ride and they get transported to this another world, another dimension. And uh, yeah, they're trying to find their way home. They had toys, but it was based off the, the game, the board game. Thanks to Doctor Who, uh, I got a new weapon to my arsenal. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, this is Dungeons and Dragons. Your guide in the realm of Dungeons and Dragons. And now, these messages. It's new for your kids. Laser lights, laser lights, it's Black Star. Defender of right, be ready to fight. The evil overlord. Laser lights. The ice castle is a mysterious place. He might meet the lava lock face to face. Laser light, laser light, it's Black Star! From Galoob. The evil Mr. Cobra can't have you under my power. I straddles little bay! He man, straddles and Cobra Khan each sold separately. Your evil mist won't make a slave of me, man. Oh, yeah? One more blast of my hypnotizing mist, and now you're gonna be real power, Cobra Con. Cobra Con figure is new from the Masters of the Universe collection. Other action figures each sold separately from Mattel. Cobra Con. <laughs> you don't squirt, though. You look good. Look just, look just like that. Stop and fight! What? Are you nuts? Stop! Personally, I have no 
desire to be peeled off the bottom of that thing's foot like a piece of chewing gum. Yeah! <laughs> For a minute there, I thought we were going to be the main course. <laughs> good idea. <laughs> well, one good idea deserves another. Ah, let's get out of here. Ah! Let's go! For what? Look! Oh, no! Oh, boy. Unicorn stew. <laughs> Let her go. I'll make bacon out of you. Yeah, put me down. We put you down. Down there. <gasps> Presto, quick. Cast a spell. Get us out of here. Spell, right. Uh, which spell? Any spell. Just do it quick, Presto. Uh, hocus delirium, pocus inferium. Spell me a spell to get us out of here. Hey, I did it. I think. And where is Uni? They're gone! Huh! Presto must be taking disappearing lessons from Dungeon Master. We gotta find him! Oh, we gotta get out of here! We can't go any further! What? Maybe it's a spell! Or a force field! Wait till I get my hands on you, Presto! Well, wherever they are, they're better off than we are. Right, Uni? Yeah. Oh, magician? Dungeon Master. What have I done? Where are the others? Your spell was a good one, wizard, but you put a bit too much twiddle on it. Twiddle? Well, uh, where did I twiddle them to? To a far-off land where they face enormous danger. Oh, no. Huh? Well, uh, how do I twiddle them back? Only by climbing to new heights of courage can you help your companions. Huh? First, you must meet three strangers and lose something very important to you. Something very important to me? What am I going to lose? Dungeon Master, oh. wait! Oh, well, come on, Uni. Let's go meet those three strangers. <laughs> We've got to get out of here! But how? This force field is like a glass wall! Be quick, will you? Wait! If it feels like glass, then it might break like glass. Bobby, use your club! Whoa! I did it! It's open! Come on! <sighs> Look at the size of this place! It's humongous! Either that or we've shrunk! Who cares? Let's get moving! And look at the size of this stuff! <laughs> oh! What kind of jerk leaves a giant fork laying around where people can trip on it? I think a giant jerk, Eric. <gasps> Look! Yeah! A giant jerk who eats little jerks like you for breakfast, Eric. <gasps> Let him have it, guys! <gasps> Ow! Hey, watch out, you big dope! Hey! You got a big mouth for somebody with such a small head. Yeah? Well, you got a small brain for somebody with such a big skull. Oh. 
Nice try, Hank. You got a lot of guts, too. No wonder you thought you could steal my golden eggs. Eggs, oh. Megs. We don't want your eggs. We don't even want your chicken. We just want to get out of here. Now let us go. You shut up. Right. Besides, I don't even have a chicken. I just have my slime beast, Willie. <gasps> your slime beast? Willie? Yeah. <laughs> Willie. Oh, brother. That thing's his parakeet? I'd hate to meet his dog. Okay, okay. Now let's play a game of hide and eat. Don't you mean hide and seek? No. Hide and eat. It's simple. You all go hide and Willie will come find you. Right, Willie? Come on, this way, quick. Hey, this doesn't sound so bad. And if Willie finds you, he gets staring you. <laughs> oh, this sounds terrible. Go get him, Willie. No! Here comes Slime Ball. Slime Beast. Yeah, him too. Under this door, quick. Oh, I'm stuck. He's going to get me. Come on, everybody. Pull. Nice. Uh, sleeve Ball. Uh, sludge Bait. Slime Bait. So long. Shut up and run. It's not going to take Willie long to find a way around this door. I don't like the look of this place, you know. The three guys we're looking for couldn't be around here. I hope. Well, let's get out of here, Uni. Uni? No, hey, Uni, no, where are you? No. Oh, no. Look, a unicorn. She'll fetch a handsome price at the market. Grab her. <laughs> Uni, get out of there before somebody spots you. Is this your unicorn? Uh, uh yeah. Uh, why? We want to make a trade for her. Yeah, three magic marbles. Here. No way. Okay, then. We'll play the skull game. The skull game? Yeah. We place this little ball inside one of the skulls. Then we mix up the skulls, and you try to guess which one the ball is in. Uh, that sounds simple enough. What do we play for? If we lose, you get to keep the three magic marbles. And if we win... We get the little unicorn. No, I won't do it. Why don't you say? I said, uh, let's get to it. Sorry, Uni. Now, keep your eye on the skull. There, which one is it in? Uh, I think it's that, that one. Wrong. It's the head on the right. Hey, you cheated. There's nothing in this skull. Who said anything about a skull? I said it was in the head on the right. Junie! <laughs> <gasps> oh, 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 hey, kid, oh, you can have the marbles. They're worthless oh, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> going, Presto. First you lost your friends, now you've lost you. Some magician you are. You gotta do everyone a favor and make yourself disappear. If this is what Dungeon Master meant by climb the new heights of courage, he can forget it. There's nothing that can make me climb up there. Come back here, you little... <gasps> Uni! Ah! Nothing except them. Come on, Uni. We don't have a choice. Look! Ah! Wait for me! The tree! It swallowed them. Run! In. Did you hear that? Yeah. 
And now, these messages. Hey guys, we're going back to the battle on planet Endor. By the Scout reports, he walked with both. All troops report to base. Shut up, glider tech, kick the dirt. Our furry friends are great allies, Leia. Accessories and action figures all sold separately. Man the catapult, wicked fire. The bunkers did bad. Let's blow the force field. We did it. The Empire's finished this time. Speeder bike, you want combat glider, assault catapult, and action figures sold separately. Only from Kenner Star Wars Return of the Jedi Collection. Presenting Ideal's RoboForce, Max Steel the leader and the brave RoboForce warrior robots with crusher arms and gripper bases, each with their own special power. Together they battle the forces of evil, hunt Red the Conqueror and his fierce warriors, journey with them to a whole new dimension. If you dare! We've got to find the message crystal before Hundred gets to it! We're surrounded by hundreds of warriors. Max Steel and Sentinel to protect us. I got a plan. Can't hide now, Hundred. Take that, Laser Breath. Max has his cover. Then let's get out of here. This will take care of him. Great shot, Sentinel. Crystal is ours. Wow, that almost seemed real. I'll be back. Max Steel's RoboForce. RoboForce, new from Ideal. I'm Woodsy Owl, with a bird's eye view of America's beautiful forests and campgrounds. But look what happens when grown-ups and kids don't give a hoot about pollution. But Woodsy, what can we do about litter? And vandalism. Just spread the word. Give a hoot. Don't pollute. And if you see litter, please pick it up. Because if you don't give a hoot, who will? In the city or in the woods, please keep America looking good. Hoot, hoot. Come on, Uni. There must be a way out somewhere. I wonder where the stairway is taking us. Maybe we ought to go back. Come on, Uni. We've got to climb to new heights of scared. Come on! Haha, <laughs> I told you that flying whatever it was wouldn't find us in this broom. <laughs> Quick, head for the window! Help! Help! Let me go! We've got to do something! I know how to make that thing let go! Hold it, Diana! They're too high! Toss your javelin on my signal! Now! That parakeet is about to use us for bird seed. Way to go, Diana. You really showed him. Whew. That was some battle. I need a little rest. <laughs> Did I scare brave little man? Oh. You did okay against Willie. Now let's see how you do against me. Not me. I, I, I break real easy. Creep. Willie, another egg has been laid. Go fetch it for me. Hey, I'm bored. I think it's time you little ones entertain me. Hey, cut it out. <laughs> Leave my sister alone, you big fink. Bobby, no. Isn't that cute? The little boy has come to rescue his sister from the mean old giant. <laughs> Not with this blimp face! Why, you little... Let's get out of here! Hurry! He's after us again! 
this should slow him down? What? Wait till I get my hands on you! Come on! That guy is a walking earthquake! Hurry! If I ever get back home, I swear I'll never goof off in gym class again. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> what is it, Uni? Oh my gosh! A baby dragon! <laughs> we gotta help him! <laughs> Hang on, fella! I'll be right there! <gasps> Gee, I can't even twiddle my fingers to whip up a spell. You need to go back. There's nothing you can do. Way to go, Yuni. You saved us. It's all right, little fella. We're safe now. What? Go to mama, little fella. Dragon. No, get down. <laughs> Let's get out of here, you. something about enormous danger. You don't think... Ah! That was Eric! I know that panic anywhere! Come on! Great boy, Willie. Now for your reward. <laughs> you may have the little one. Come on! That slime beast is after us again! What is this? Tag team chasing or what? There they are! I sure hope I get the twiddle right this time. Alakashim! Salakashim! Give me a spell to get them out of their jam! Maybe my fingers aren't loaded. Am I ever glad to see you guys? For a minute there, I thought I spelled you right out of existence. You wish you had. When I get through with you. Come on, I know the way out of here. <gasps> What's wrong? The egg. This is no time to be thinking about breakfast. We've got to get out of here. No, the golden egg. It's a dragon egg. We've got to get it back to its mother. Come on, let's get out of here. Wait up! Hey! That's my golden egg! Give it back! This is ridiculous! Ah, guys! This thing's alive! <laughs> Cut it out! I'm not your dada! <laughs>
guys, I've got this twiddle thing down cold, I think. <gasps> Presto, don't! I'll fiddle with my twiddle and diddle with the middle and make a magic riddle that'll turn the giant little. Oh, great. Now he's doing nursery rhymes. Yeah! That was real fancy finger work, Presto. Thanks. Aw, isn't that cute? The dragons have a new nest. Your spells are improving, wizard. Dungeon Master. Improving? It was his stupid twiddling that got us into trouble in the first place. Yes, but your trouble worked for a good cause. <laughs> For you have saved the last of the golden dragons, one of the few remaining species of good dragons left in this world. Good dragon? Ha! The only good dragon is a... <laughs> you were saying, Dada? The only good dragon is, is a golden dragon. <laughs> Cut that out! <laughs> And now, these messages. Fruit roll-ups. Real fruit and fun rolled up in one. You can peel them, you can poke them. You can tear them, you can share them. You can rock them, you can roll them. You can really get to know them. Fruit roll-ups are the chewy snacks made with real fruit that you unroll, peel, and chew. You can stretch them, you can chew them. You can pack them, you can glue them. Fruit Corners Fruit Roll-Ups, now in great tasting grape. Class, what animal do you think of when I say honey? Frogs. Frogs. <laughs> it is yum! But bees make honey. But now I make honey smack. Honey, 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 honey smacks. Dig them, make some honey smacking good. Hmm, you smacked him good. You know a lot about honey, Diggum. What kind of grades did you get? Bees. Kellogg's Honey Smacks. Part of this good-for-you breakfast. They're honey smacking good. It's a squirrel. It's Spunky Squirrel. Any home in America can have healthy trees when you follow Spunky's five-point checklist. Trees are treasures. People who care, care for them. To keep your trees a valuable part of your property, write for a free brochure today. Next up, we got Saturday Super K. Now, I used to watch this, look forward to watching this when I was little. Uh, you know, it had all your favorite video game characters. That's cartoons. Can't beat that. Nice little intro song. And if you reel me in with the song, I'm, I'm gonna watch the cartoon. Now I was little, you know what I'm saying? So here is Saturday Super K. Saturday Super K. Yeah. 
Saturday's Supercade will return after these messages. Pumping, coming up the plumbing for Luigi's in a bind. Giant turtles out to get him, creepy crabs are right behind. Spider flies, jeepers, shite, they're all coming out the pie. It's Mario Brothers, the new video cartridge from Atari. Console sold separately and hooked up by an adult. With Mario from Donkey Kong and his brother Luigi using their heads to stay ahead. It's twice the fun when two play at once, because you need all the help you can get. <laughs> Mario Brothers, the Atari video game cartridge. Versions available for all Atari systems. Consoles sold separately. Whoa! Mr. Arcade! Get him out of here! He's playing Donkey Kong! You like Donkey Kong, eh? Okay, big fella! It's the official tabletop version of Donkey Kong. And it looks, plays, and sounds the same. It even has different screens as you get higher. And even more important... You can take Donkey Kong home. Official Donkey Kong, the arcade game you can take home with you from Coleco. And now, back to Saturday's Super Cave. Donkey Kong! Is it ready yet, Boris? It's perfected, Maxwell. A machine that can shrink live people and animals. Yes, making them the most incredible dolls in the world. Living dolls. No, all we need is our first victim. There he is, Pauline, monkeying around as usual. <laughs> Come on, now's our chance. <laughs> <laughs> That's either the world's biggest stuffed monkey, or we've got a real ape in our window. He's real, all right. And he's about to become very, very small. <laughs> <laughs> And now for the old Mario surprise attack! Fire the shrinking ray! <laughs> Little ape! for the price of one. Mario, Donkey Kong's no bigger than a mouse. We'll do something before something terrible happens to him. Or to us. There's that little ape in the train. Got him. All board. <laughs> All board. <laughs> Boris, don't oh. let him get away. Check every toy. He's on this shelf somewhere. 
sure, maybe he's in here. <laughs> 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 Catch him this way. Let's track him with a guard dog. They're going to stick their guard dog on poor defenseless Donkey Kong. What do we do? Simple. In an emergency, call the fire department. There's no way he'll escape me now. <laughs> oh, wow, 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 oh, gumbo holes. <laughs> There's more than one way to bag that goofy baboon. I'm coming to get you, you dopey ape! Oh, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Give up! You're down to your last gumball, barrel brain! Oh, yeah. Okay, this is it. Oh, wow! Oh, wow! Oh, wow! Oh, wow. Oh, it sure is. Bye-bye! <laughs> Mario, come on! Donkey Kong is headed into the city! He, he's on the scent, Maxwell! Yum, yeah, eat. Oh, wow. Mario, hurry! He's headed into that coffee shop! Oh, yeah! Oh, yum, 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 yum. Oh, wow. They must have gone in the coffee shop. Come on, we'll get them this time. Oh, wow. Mario, Donkey Kong. I've got a bad feeling something awful's about to happen. We got her, but I don't see the others. Don't worry. They'll come back to the toy store to find her. And when they do, we'll be ready. <laughs> Pauline? Here I go. Well, you better watch her. Oh, I, 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 I. Oh, oh, oh. Say, Pauline. Oh, hey. Huh? We'll grab them when they try to rescue the girl. There's Pauline in that glass. But I don't see those bad guys. We need a way to rescue her. A clever surprise attack. Oh, <laughs> oh flush him out. <laughs> uh -huh. Oh, boy. Maybe what we need is a... A plane. My idea exactly. Now to rescue Pauline. Good going, guys. My heroic Donkey Kong. Well, I, uh, oh, 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 shucks. It's the shrinking machine. Put it down over there. They're after the shrinking machine. Hold them off while I figure out how to work this thing. Okay, Donkey Kong, I got him zeroed in. Nice going. 
That should tie them up for a while. I, I don't know. Well, what, 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 oh, 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 time to jump. Oh, 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 Geronimo. <laughs> That's easy for you to say. <laughs> Not exactly my style. Mario, I figured out how to reverse this way. Finally, my furry friend. You're mine. They got little Donkey Kong. This'll even up the odds. Oh, boy. Oh, oh okay. Uh, my turn. Uh, well, <laughs> just watch this. <laughs> okay, I said, go back. I go, I go, oh, look out. Go, 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 go! Ah, oh. <laughs> Donkey Kong, we've been looking all over for you. Where's those crooked toy makers? I gotta admit, Donkey Kong, that's pretty clever. I'm so proud of you. Here's a little reward. Oh, ooh, oh, how like, oh yeah, how neat, oh her. Yeah. And here's a free ride back to the circus. Oh, 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 have a bellyache. Saturday's Supercade will return after these messages. The most earth-shattering dig done. Super system. The most realistic joust. Super system. Pole position at its hair-raising best. Super system. Only on the Atari 5200 Super System. Now at its lowest price ever. Real sports baseball. You're out. 2600 games. The adapter plays them all. The Atari 5200 Super System and all the exciting new games now at a new low price. Super System. Here's what's playing on ColecoVision in 1984. War Games, the blockbuster movie, becomes more than just a game on ColecoVision. Tarzan, the original swinger, is still the king of the jungle on ColecoVision. Frontline, the ultimate invasion on a constantly changing battlefield on ColecoVision. Congo Bongo, the hilarious jungle adventure on ColecoVision. Star Trek, fight aliens at the speed of light on ColecoVision. The best game in town keeps getting better. Say, has you heard the news? Yeah. I want to tell him. I want to tell him. the news is riveting. Riveting. Absolutely cut. Oh, what the boys are trying to say is that Parker Brothers, Popeye, Cubert, and Togger are not only available for the Atari 2600, but for the Commodore 64 home computer, Atari 5200, and ColecoVision. About as close to real arcade graphics and action as you can get. One thing I hate since a pushy announcement. <laughs> Popeye, Cubert, and Frogger. Also, for all Commodore, Atari systems, and TI. Now's your nose. <laughs> And now, back to Saturday's Super Cave. Hurry 
up, guys. We gotta finish making our music video. I'm ready, and I just love my Pat Kilitar costume. And like I'm freaking over my Cindy Cooper outfit. It's maximum rad. Hey, I don't want to wear this dumb dress. Ah, uh, come on, boy Cuball. Your outfit's gonna help us win QTV's best video by a new group contest. Like, then it'll be aired on the video awards show, and I'll be like a superstar in junk. What do you say? We only got till 6 o'clock to deliver our entry to QTV's station manager. Oh, all right. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> From now on, I'm wearing pants under this thing. We gotta mess up their video so the one we're making wins the QTV contest. Yeah, yeah, we want to mess it up and foul up and botch up and, and, and just generally cause havoc. Eh, hey, shut up. <laughs> oh, quit playing around and let's go ruin Cubit's video. Didn't you drop the ice water? Uh, what'd he say? Uh, uh drop the ice water. Camera's rolling. Let's put on a show they'll never forget. <laughs> and now I'm gonna put on a show Cupid will never forget. They told him, Don't you ever come around here. Don't wanna see your face, you better disappear. The fire's in their eyes, and their words are really clear. So beat it, beat it, beat it, just beat it. You better run, you better do what you can. Don't wanna see no blood, don't be a macho man. You wanna be tough, better do what you can. So beat it, beat it, beat it. But you wanna be bad, just beat it, beat it. No one wants to be defeated. Showing how funky strong is your fight. It doesn't matter who's wrong or right. Just beat it, beat it, beat it, just beat it. Just beat it, beat it, beat it, just beat it. Woo! Encore! That was fantastic! Yeah. Oh, yeah. Now what, bright boy? I'm gonna swipe Cubert's tape. Come on! Ooh, that, that's a sneaky, rotten, dirty trick! Ooh, I love it. I just love it. <laughs> Thank you, thank you. You've been a great audience. Come on, guys, let's get our tape. Oh boy, we got it. Yeah, now let's get back to the warehouse and finish our video. Hey, somebody. 
Somebody stole our tape. Who'd be rotten and sneaky enough to do that? Coily! We got less than an hour to find our tape and get it over to QTV. Where do we look first? Coily's been making his own music video in an old warehouse. Let's try there. Hey, baby snakes, I love your fangs. Oh, cha-cha-cha, yeah, yeah. You're right, Coily's here. And there's our tape. We'll never get it with those geeks around. Oh, yes, we will, through the roof. Come on. Like, this is so uncool. We're gonna get arrested for fishing without a license. Gag me with a French warrant. Don't worry. Hey, I got it. Great. We got Coily's hat and he's got our tape. Have a little patience. Let's spring to life. Together, me and you. ta dee ta do ta do dee do dee do I'll get it this time. Watch this. We better get down there and help Hubert. <laughs> I got you. Yeah, but I got my tape back. Bye, creeps. Come back here, salami snout. Oh, don't just stand there. Help Coily, you dopes. Right, yeah, right. Uh, we'll use the forklift. Yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll have up at the... You loser. Not after my slippy do slip you up. Uh oh. Help! Help! Oh, heck, it's locked. Oh, do something. Yeah, sure. Okay, yeah. Uh -oh. Left. Hop on! We got just enough time to get our tape to the studio. Get me down! Hurry. We gotta enter our tape in a contest before six. Oh, there's no hurry. Rongaway forgot to take the lens cover off the camera. All we got here is blank tape. You muttonhead! Oh, I, I, I'm sorry, Cody. I, I, it, was, it was an accident. I, I mean, it, it didn't happen on paper. Oh, look! My God, Mike the Max! They're gonna name the winners! Here's what you've all been waiting for. The best video by a new group award goes to... Hubert and the Nosers! Yeah! Oh, 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 oh. Hey, big deal. Who cares about winning some dopey video contest? Please take your seats. It's time to view some clips from the winning video. They're up to get you better. You can, so beat it, beat it, beat it, just beat it. You have to show them that you're really not scared. You're playing with your life, this ain't no truth or dare. They'll kick you, they'll beat you, they'll tell you it's fair. So beat it, beat it, beat it. But you want to be bad, just beat it, beat it. No one wants to be defeated. Just beat it, beat it, beat it. Just Beat it, beat it, beat it, just beat it, beat it, beat it, just beat it, beat it. Beat it. Hey, what's going on? Yeah, you're in my video. Quiet, please. I'd like Cubert and Coily to come up here with their band to perform live. Yeah! 
<laughs> Suckers, you did all the work, and I get to share the glory. I wouldn't say that. You're gonna do your share. Hit it, guys. I wish he didn't say that. Saturday's Supercade will return after these messages. I wish I was a Choco. He can get a hit without a bat. He can steal second without leaving first. <laughs> but he can't trick me out of new Choco Crunch cereal. Choco? That delicious chocolatey crunch mixed with crunchy crunch, part of this complete breakfast, is for us to enjoy. Right, Dave? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bad call there, Dave. Where's my Choco Crunch, Captain? It's, uh, in here. <laughs> they love it on Nebula. They're wild about it on Torinus. Even on Motus, where they don't like anything at all, they eat it up. It's Atari's Moon Patrol, the action-packed video game. Brace your moon buggy over enormous craters. Blast attacking saucers. And zap moon rocks. But you'd better watch out. Play Moon Patrol. It's more fun than a barrel of grown mix. You from Atari. Hey, it's the Black Angry Video Game Nerd. You know what? I don't like kangaroo because I, I keep dying. Fuck! Come on! And now, back to Saturday's Super Cave. Joey, Joey, kangaroo. Can you in the zoo? Monkey, 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 and boo, boo, bat, but best friends, bingo, bango, bungo, friends. This monkey business coming at you. So rock em, sock em, knock em, Kanga to forever. So Kanga, happy Joey and Katie, K.O. Cuckoo crazy, Cuckoo kangaroo. You can take this game and shove it up a hippopotamus ass and then swirl it around. <laughs> It finally arrived. I can hardly wait to show Sydney. Gee, maybe someday I'll be as good a magician as the great zucchini and go on a world tour. Wish we had a magic kit. Then we could magic us out of this chicken zoo. Wow, a magic wand. Hey, watch where you point that thing. It might be loaded. Okay, let's see a trick. Ooh, ooh, yeah, make something disappear. Nah, uh, but, but not me. Ugh, me neither. How about I make something appear? Ta-da! Joey the Great's famous nut in the air trick. Wow, if I could do that, gathering nuts for the winter would be a snap. Well, Oliver, ooh, do you think it's going to whitewash your birdhouse? Ooh, ooh. <laughs> me, that's ooh. Hey, Mr. Friendly, you want to see me do some magic? Well, how about conjuring up a paintbrush? Looks like I forgot mine. Uh, I think I need a little more practice to do that. In that case, I'd better go get one. Aha! Uh -huh. That whitewash gives me an idea. Snag it, Bango. Ooh, ooh, okay. But, uh, why? We're gonna sneak out of the zoo covered in whitewash. Old Friendly will never recognize us. Danny! Danny! Come back! 
Gotcha! Give me a break, Zucchini. Even a squirrel needs time off. No, lazy assistant is going to ruin my chance for a comeback. Well, what do you know? That's the zoo where my cousin Sydney lives. Hey, Sydney, let's see if I can change you into a rabbit. Eh, uh, maybe some other time, Joey. Uh, I, I gotta go. Uh, lots of nuts to sort. Yuck, what a mess. Well, I, I, I guess that kind of takes care of that plan, don't it, Bingo? Ah, uh, knock it off. <laughs> wow, I'm afraid magic isn't gonna get that off. Yeah. I'd better go rinse myself off in the zoo fountain. Come on, Jenny. I promise I'll give you two vacations next year. I'm tired of rehearsing. Why don't you start without me? Come back here! <laughs> Wonder if that guy fell in whitewash, too. Aha! There you are, you little troublemaker! Gotcha! Hey, let go! Help! Say, what's the big idea? Don't play dumb. You know we need to rehearse. Rehearse what? I've been a squirrel all my life. I just do what comes naturally. That's not good enough. We're talking about Zucchini's World Tour. Hmm. Wonder where Sydney is. Gee, how did Zucchini find another white squirrel so fast? Oh, well. At least you'll have someone to rehearse with while I visit Sydney. Hey, Sydney! Sydney? Where? Where? Stop kidding around, Sydney. And why haven't you gotten rid of that white guck yet? I'm not Sydney. I'm Danny. And that white guck happens to be my natural color. If that's not whitewash, then where's Sydney? Oh, boy. If Sydney's covered with whitewash, then I know where he is. Come on. There, Sydney. But what's Zucchini gonna do to him? Watch this, Harry. I am going to appear to saw this squirrel in half. That's what I thought he was gonna do. As your manager, Zucchini, I gotta tell you, that's a boring trick. <laughs> Not to me, it isn't. If you wanna make a comeback, you better find something new and exciting. New and exciting? Hmm. Okay, I'll saw faster. Oh, no. Zucchini's never been very good at that trick. we better get hopping. It's time to bring down the curtain on this act. What the? What's going on? Hold on. You're sawing the wrong squirrel in half. Say, what is this? Hey. Now that's a great gimmick, Zucchini, old boy. I think you're on to something. Uh, I, I am? Yes, I am. The squirrel is quicker than the hand, Zucchini. We'll see about that. Oh, well. You can't blame a guy for trying. Thanks, Joey. We better go help Danny. Hey, Danny! Down here! Going down! Boy, downstairs is spooky! But it sure beats upstairs. We better find a way out before... Enough said. Let's go. Your new act is stupendous, Zucchini. Two white squirrels and a disappearing kangaroo. I'm glad you find it so exciting. Now I've got to find them. Hmm. I should have been a magician. And the birdhouse is painted. Mr. Friendly, you're as bad as Joey. I'm just on my way to buy tickets for Zucchini the Great. Looks like I should buy one for you, too. Thanks, Katie. But I'm afraid this is the only magic wand that'll work for me. I hope we find a way out of here soon. Yeah, this place is filled with funny noises. Ooh, I like that. Where are you? 
my little helpers. We aren't down here in the basement. A likely story. I don't think he believed you, Sydney. Look, up there. If we could only get to that skylight. Too bad this isn't the magic carpet. We could fly up to that skylight. I'm willing to give it a try. Carpet, up, up and away. Wow, Joey. How'd you do that? I don't know, but don't knock it. Joey didn't do it. He did. It is all done with wires, gentlemen. Hang on tight. I'm going to turn this into a real fine carpet. I'll help. Me too. Now what? Look out! We're gonna crash! <laughs> Well, you know, I'm back to normal. Hello, Kazam! Gotcha! How'd you change that squirrel's color, Zucchini? That's very impressive! Oh, uh, trade secret, Harry. It wasn't magic. It was whitewash. Why are you? Or next time I'll paint you purple. Now, let us go. May I have three tickets, please? Hey, I'm a kangaroo, not a prop for some dopey magic act. That's Joey, Gangway! Watch closely, Harry. The top will meet the bottom of the case, and the kangaroo will emerge unharmed. That's fantastic. If the trick works. I've never actually tried it before. Hey, Mom! I'm in here! And we are here. Oh, here goes my comeback. Unless it works the old levitation trick. Wow, now I know what those zoogies must be like. So, Katie, another kangaroo? I'm as surprised as you are. I'll have you out of there in no time, Joey. As soon as I figure out how. Allow me. I didn't rehearse all those years with the great zucchini for nothing. That white squirrel is better than zucchini. I could make him a big star. The old Indian rope is how to get me out of this mess. Now I just climb up to the top and disappear. Two things. How to make myself disappear and my... Yeah, of my places! Come down here and let Joey go! Stay away from me! Uh -huh. I think I'm washed up. I agree, Zucchini. You mean no world tour? A world tour with Danny, the world's only squirrel magician. It'll be stupendous, colossal! Then I guess Danny will need an assistant. Dry off and follow me, Zucchini. If you're going to be my assistant, you have to rehearse. Hey, Mom, want to see me do some magic? You can be my assistant, Sydney. You're kidding. How about that? I'm a real magician. I made Sydney disappear. Saturday Supercade will return after these messages. Enter the imagination of Atari. The imagination that brings you the world's most popular video games. Like Dig Dug, where you make your own maze, then have to deal with it. Kangaroo, where you have to save the baby from ferocious monkeys. And Sorcerer's Apprentice, where the magic of Disney and Atari meet. Experience the challenges and the thrills that come only from the imagination of Atari. Hi, Groovers. Want to be a hit with the girls and the envy of all the guys? You don't? Fine. You can have much more fun with this in television. Zillions of fabo games like Tron, Lock and Chase, and Burger Time. And if your friends won't talk to you, you can talk to in television. Buy one now, and they'll throw in this Intellivoice module free. Hello, Commander. It's amazing. 
in television, the intelligent video game system. Don't be a nerk. Buy in television. I'm so hungry. Check out the Chef Crow Show every other week on Mall Media. And this show will be good. Mm -hmm. And now back to Saturday's Super Cave. Face Ace, Defender of the Galaxy. Together with his partner Kimberly, they battle the forces of the evil force who seeks to conquer Earth with his dreaded Infanto Ray. <laughs> The old man's got his jets in an uproar again. Get serious. He wouldn't call us if it weren't important, Dexter. Hey, call me Ace, huh? You sent for us, sir? Affirmative, crew. Now we've received word that our old enemy, Borf, is up to another fiendish plot. Borf buzzers. Yes, and they're headed for Earth. You've got to stop them. Leave them to me, sir. They don't stand a chance against this space ace. Whoa! Whoa! Whoa. Hmm? Uh, well, what did you say? Uh, whoa. Dexter! Uh, Officer Kimberly, how many times must I tell you to keep your little brother out of Space Command Headquarters? And where is Space Ace? Uh... He left to warm up the star pack. Come on, Dixie. I've got work to do. Don't worry, sir. We'll take care of those rotten buzzers. Whoops. Out. Out. You'd better watch those changes, Dexter. If anyone finds out Borf hit you with the Infanto Ray, they'll ground you until they find a cure. Golly, that could take forever. And I can't control the changes. They just... kind of happen. We'll worry about that later. Right now, we've got to save the moon colony. Yahoo! See you later, space invaders. Hi there, lad. Come on. Come in. Well, have you carried out my orders? Affirmative. The Space Command ship is now chasing us as you planned. Excellent. Now to start phase two of my operation. Legren, ready the Infanta Ray. But the Infanta Ray hasn't been perfected to use on humans yet. I've constructed a special ray. Ooh, one that will work only on the roots. Ah, uh, brilliant, Paul. Brilliant. I know. Now, fire! Perfect. Now to call my spy, Trader Red. You sent for me, Borf? I've got a job for you, Ed. I want you to lure Space Ace to the moon colony. And here's how you do it. Those buses are probably halfway back to Borf's space station. Whoops! We're picking up a distress call. This is Space Ace. We have you on our monitors. Can you read us? Roger, Space Ace. This is Trader Red. I was headed toward the moon colony when those buzzers hit me. We've lost all power and are sinking fast. Oh. Hang on, Trader Red. We'll swing around and give you a tow to the moon. Oh, 
Thank you! Thank you! Thank you! Sucker! <laughs> For these two valiant officers, I wouldn't be here to offer you this fantastic bargain. Cosmic kittlings! Aww, isn't it cute, Ace? But he likes you, sir. Hey, what? Let's see if he's as smart as he is friendly. Go get it, fella. He's a clever little guy. But there's something familiar about those critters I can't put my finger on. <laughs> there's that fool space ace right where I want him. No refunds! <laughs> wow. Ace! Hey! They're Borf's Groots! Run, run! Look out! Whoa, whoa! Get us out! There are too many of them! Borf must have changed them with the Infanto Ray! Hurry, let's get to the Star Pack! We can't let the Groots take over. The only way to beat them is to reverse the Infanto and hit Borf's space station. Watch out, Borf, old buddy. Cause here we come. Oh, no! Our little kitten friend! I don't think he wants to play fetch anymore. Hey! Take it easy! Yo! Yikes! Asteroid, get ahead! That should hold you. Thanks, Kim. That'll keep him quiet for a while. We're getting a message. Aha! Uh -huh. I knew you were behind this, Barf. Your movement is now under my control. I'll have the brutes fire its lasers at Earth unless your world surrenders to me. No way, Barfo. <laughs> Why, you big boy, we'll show you. I'm in charge now, Dexter, and I say... Settle down! Looks pretty quiet, though. Maybe he doesn't know we're here. He knows, all right. We're goners if we touch those mines. Blast them, Dexter! But which one? Eeny, meeny, money, mo! By the time he wakes up, we'll be long gone. Come on, let's find Borf's control room. Oh, neat kudos. You are my prisoners. He laser dust, Tinhead. Let's see how tough you are without that blaster. Oops. Get them! Look out! Oh, wow, me! Come on! Playmate, that's it. Ha uh ha, -huh. I've got you now. Here, boy. Get the stick, remember? 
here. Think fast. Uh, uh, let Pop make you Frankie Furball. Come on. Now let's pay old Buddy Borth a visit. Seal off all levels. Run! There's the control room. We've come to shut you down, Borf. Space Ace and Kimberly. Clean up that trash, sort of room. No creep like you is going to sweep me off my feet, Borf. No! Here's the reverse ray. Bye-bye, Groots. This ray could turn you back to normal, too. Let's try it. Fools! <laughs> that ray only works on groups. Sorry, Ace. Your cure will have to wait. Stop to grab Bort. Just enough time to rig this to self-destruct and run! Now to pick up the Grootlings and head for home. The moon colony is safe. And the Grootlings will have a nice home in Space Command's interplanetary zoo. Well, I may not have gotten my cure, but at least we've got the moon colony and the Groots all under control. <laughs> Cut it out, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like the Groots have got you under control, too, Dexter. <laughs> <laughs> that tickles. <laughs> <You're me. laughs> oh. Saturday's Supercade will return after these messages. Star Wars. It's great in the arcade. Fireballs coming right out of here. Watch the laser towers. Aim for the towers. Pick in the cameras. Use the force. Coming too fast. It's flame. Wait. My shields are gone. All right. Stop going in. Oh, some game, huh? Some game. In a galaxy of video games, there is only one. Star Wars, the arcade game. Be careful! This place is crawling with biker scouts! Don't worry, they don't match for us, you are. From Kenner's Star Wars Return of the Jedi Collection, New Wicked W. Warwick and Princess Nisa, each sold separately. Quiet, Nisa, here comes a biker scout! Ayala! Let's go! Ye banga! He's gaining on us! Ayee! Head for the forest! <laughs> Close call! Yup, yup! New Wicked W. Warwick and Princess Nisa, each sold separately from Kenner's Star Wars Return of the Jedi Collection. Kids play harder than anybody else, and there's nothing like a kid's big face. Hey, Kool-Aid! We need a break! It's Kool-Aid Man, and he's breaking through with the Kool-Aid break that only kids can do. Cause when you're working up a kid's big thirst, you got to, got to have that thirst reverse. So move your feet and do the funky beat. And Kool-Aid break, come on, Kool-Aid break. It's got the fruit they taste in first. Uh -huh. Cause got to, got to have their Kool-Aid break. All right! It's the one for kids for a kid's big thirst. Kool-Aid brand soft drink mix. Yeah. And now, back to Saturday's Super Cave. Next up, we got the Littles, but it's about these little rat people stay in the crib. You know, they had their little adventures or whatever. The Littles. 
I have a very special secret. I'm the only one who knows about tiny people living in our walls called the Littles. After these messages. Kids play a lot more than anyone. Kids get hot more than anyone. Hey, who is? is for a kid's big burst. Kids are having fun more than anyone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kids are on the run more than anyone. Whoa. Kool-Aid brand soft drink mix. Kool-Aid is for a kid's big first. Beastman's own map for battle armor, He-Man. Beastman, battle armor, He-Man, and Skeletor each sold separately. Take that! Just a dent. And that! More dents. But look! They're gone! Only He-Man has this power. Oh, yeah? Battle armor Skeletor has it, too. Now the real fun begins. Battle Armor Skeletor and He-Man figures each sold separately from the Masters of the Universe collection. Beast-Man figure also sold separately from Mattel. Captain O.G. Readmore here. An ordinary sidewalk on an ordinary day. But did you ever stop to think that you could get away? Take a journey on a rocket. Take a voyage on a ship. Just read a book and off you go, because reading is a trip. Explore a tropic jungle. Ooh. Discover distant planets. <laughs> Reach the glacier's tip. Just read a book and off you go. Cause reading, oh, yes, is a trip. You see Dinky and Grandpa Little delivering pizza in a plane. The plane crashes, but they survive the ordeal. Dr. Hunter, in his never ending quest to capture the Littles, spots the plane. He tracks the Littles to their home and talks to Henry's parents about the Littles. The Littles inform Henry that they must leave because Dr. Hunter is after them. Will you help us? If there's no other way, of course I'll help. Dr. Hunter gets an A-OK -okay to search Henry's room for the Littles. They capture all the Littles except Dinky and Grandpa Little. Dr. Hunter exposes the Littles to the media and he puts them in a zoo. But guess what? It was all a dream. <laughs> all this stuff, it was all a dream. Dinky! Grandpa, we gotta do something. I don't wanna live in the zoo. You're not in the zoo, monkey brains. You're in your plane. You passed out when we crashed. You mean Hunter didn't catch us? Henry's not a traitor? We're not in the zoo? We're safe! We're safe! Get off of me, or you won't be safe for long! I swear, I'll never eat another pepperoni, pickle, and pineapple pizza as long as I live! We'll return after these messages. Yuck! Oh, come on! Don't knock it till you try it. Put a little on your plate. Don't make a face before you taste it. Some kids think it's great. Why don't you try a smorgasbord dinner? Which means a smidgen of this and a smidgen of that. Don't knock it till you try it. Eating can be fun. With little bites of different things instead of lots of one. Don't quibble till you nibble a dabble or a dibble of everything that's on your plate. And then go back and eat the things you like again.
Next up, ABC Weekend Special. You're not from the 80s if you don't know ABC Weekend Special. Yeah, this one is based off an of, uh, Edgar Allan Poe story called The Golden Bug. I remember watching this when I was little because of the death scene at the end. You know, that stuck with me. But yeah, ABC Weekend Special, The Golden Bug. Franco-American presents Mr. O. Hi, all. Today, Cook Gormando will show us why kids are going to like new SpaghettiOs even more than before. First, we added more plump, juicy potatoes. No, that's more plump, juicy tomatoes. And more real shredded leaves. No, more real cheddar cheese. And more lean beets. More lean beef. Oh. New SpaghettiOs Please. with more cheese, beef, and tomatoes. Uh-oh, oh, SpaghettiOs. <laughs> Some gold in your day. Come on in and say McDonald's Golden Grill. It's got real pineapple. Hey, hey, hey! It's the taste of today. Come on in and say McDonald's Golden Grill. You get beef, cheese, lettuce, and hot grilled pineapple. Hey, hey, hey! Put some gold in your day. Come on in and say McDonald's Golden Grill. For a short time only. Back to our story. It's the year 1866. 
we see a boy traveling by boat to the infamous Sullivan's Island. Now, for those who don't know what Sullivan Island is, it's an island where, where Captain Kidd buried his treasure at. He had two of his men bury the treasure. He killed them and buried them with the treasure. So that's basically what this story is based around. All right, let's get back to the story. He's searching for bugs to add to his insect collection that his late father left him. While exploring, he is caught by Jupiter. Now, Jupiter is a tongueless slave. Uh, I don't know if he's born without a tongue or something, but we are introduced to William Legrand. William Legrand lost his family fortune, so he relocated on Sullivan's Island. He was thinking maybe one day he can find a treasure. William tells the boy to go home. So the next day he goes back to the island to explore. He saw a golden, a golden bug, a big fat golden beetle, and he uh, he he wraps it in his cloth. And then we see Jupiter come. He sees the boy, and then he takes him back to William. But this time the boy shows him the golden bug with the cloth. And while I'm wrapping the cloth, he noticed he noticed a secret hidden hidden uh, visible ink on his cloth, and he noticed that it's the map. It's the map the captain's kid treasure. So they're all excited. So he tells the boy to go grab some 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 equipment, you know, like a like a magnifying glass, telescope, whatever, so they can go on this treasure hunt. Next day he come, he's equipped, and they all go find this treasure. They find the treasure, and it's ecstatic. William tells the boy to go get a few sacks so that they would be able to carry the treasure to the hut. The boy leaves but could not return because of a big storm that night. The next day, he goes to the island and finds William and Jupiter dead. Did your master die of a heart attack? Or did you kill him? And take the treasure off for yourself? Where's the gold? It's out there. Somewhere. to Charleston every summer now. I spend hours diving to the bottom of the sea. It's there. I know it. I found it once. I'll find it again. <laughs> you know what that be I thank you for spending the Saturday morning with me <laughs> I really do I hope you enjoyed yourself I enjoyed myself thank you for coming to the Saturday morning experience